Hello everyone and welcome. You may notice that diesel vehicles tend to have higher torque figures versus their gasoline counterparts. So in this video we're going to be talking about five reasons why diesel engines tend to produce more torque versus gasoline engines. And we're going to start things off discussing compression ratio. So if you look at a gasoline engine, as that piston is moving towards top dead center, as it's moving upward, it's going to come to a stop sooner versus a diesel engine which is going to continue to compress that air even further. So why does the diesel engine compress the air more? Well, this is because the diesel engine is relying on the heat of that air to instantly combust the fuel as it's injected in. So it's raising the air above the self-ignition temperature of the diesel fuel versus in a gasoline engine, you're compressing an air and fuel mixture, which you don't want to rise above its self-ignition temperature because you want to use a spark plug to ignite it rather than compression. So the gasoline engine doesn't compress quite as much to ensure that the temperatures don't get that hot versus the diesel engine wants that temperature to get really hot so it compresses it even further. So what does this all translate into? Well, by using higher compression ratios, there's a direct correlation between the efficiency of an engine and how much torque it produces. So those higher compression ratios translate into more torque for the diesel engine. Next, we're going to talk about the speed of combustion. So in a gasoline engine, a spark, as mentioned, starts the ignition of that air and fuel mixture. And then the flame travels outward from that spark plug until it finally burns all of that air and fuel. Versus in a diesel engine, the fuel nearly instantly combusts as it's injected into the cylinder. So complete combustion occurs much sooner. So if you're to look at the pistons as they're moving downward, the gasoline engine, the piston has moved down a significant amount before complete combustion has occurred. Versus the diesel engine, the piston hasn't moved down quite as much before complete combustion has occurred. And the result means that with the diesel engine, there's more time that that fuel is spending pushing down down that piston versus the gasoline engine, which translates into more useful work and more torque produced. So in the gasoline engine, if you still have combustion occurring when you know the piston's way down here, that combustion is only going to be pressing the piston down for a short duration, versus if it happened up top, it would have pushed down that piston for the entire duration. So you want that immediate uh, compression ignition property of the diesel engine to maximize how much torque you produce. Okay, so the third thing we're going to talk about is the bore versus stroke, and the fact that diesel engines tend to have a longer stroke length. So if you're looking at a gasoline engine, it's typically going to have a wider bore, but the piston isn't going to travel up and down quite as much, versus looking at a diesel engine, which the piston will travel up and down quite a bit, but the bore won't be quite as wide as on the gasoline engine. So torque is simply force multiplied by distance. So in the case of a diesel engine, you've not only got a larger force, but you're multiplying that larger force by a larger distance, the distance rotating around that crankshaft. And so ultimately that's going to translate into more torque produced. So I've got a simple example here where we've got two engines which have the same displacement. This is a single cylinder, 0.6 liters, and we've got 120 millimeter stroke on the left with an 80 millimeter bore versus a 100 millimeter bore on the right and an 80 millimeter stroke. Both of those 0.6 liters, however, this one has a significantly longer stroke. Now I think it's worth mentioning uh, that because combustion occurs much sooner in a diesel engine, it's going to be occurring when it's not at you know, the ideal angle for creating that force versus distance. Um, so I'm not you know, totally convinced that stroke length plays all that much of a role in the overall discussion of producing more torque, uh, but it certainly can help to have that greater distance. I think the fact that it has higher compression ratios and that it's turbocharged are ultimately going to be the biggest driving factors along with that quicker combustion. So getting into this a little bit more, um, part of the reason that this limits a diesel's engine speed is that the piston has to travel very quickly if the stroke is super long. So right here I've got this example here where if it's spinning at 3000 RPM, the average piston speed will be 12 meters per second versus the 80 millimeter stroke is going to be traveling at 4500 RPM for the piston speed to be traveling an average of 12 meters per second. So both of these having the same average piston speeds, but this one able to rev up much quicker uh, to a higher RPM without getting into super high piston speeds. 
Moving on to number four, diesel engines tend to be turbocharged and they tend to be built for turbochargers. So they are using heavier components, iron blocks, uh, heavy duty pistons, connecting rods, crankshafts. All of this results in a significantly heavier engine, but an engine that is built to be able to handle the increased amount of torque that diesel engines produce. And another thing about diesel engines uh, is that they tend to uh, burn quite lean. So they have a very lean uh, ratio, air fuel ratio, 18 to one, up as high as 70 to one uh, that they can operate in. And by burning lean, you can have more air to expand and create more useful work. Now that's more an efficiency gain, uh, but also it, it leads to, you know, why diesel engines want to be turbocharged to help put in all that air uh, to combine with the uh, fuel, the, you know, less amount of fuel, but quite a bit of air that you're using to run efficiently. They also don't have the pumping losses associated with gasoline engines uh, because they'll be throttleless or typically have the throttle almost always wide open versus gasoline engines, which operate in a much narrower uh, air fuel ratio range. Uh, and, and overall, you know, you're not going to see typically as high of boost levels because the engines aren't quite as built for those higher boost levels uh, that diesel engines are from the factory built for. So again, more boost, more fuel equals more power and of course more torque. And finally, something I think worth mentioning is that the energy density of diesel fuel is greater than gasoline. So if you have the same volume of fuel, whether it's a gallon of gasoline or a gallon of diesel, that gallon of diesel is going to have about 10 to 15 percent uh, more energy packed in it than the gasoline. So if you're spraying the same volume of fuel into a cylinder, that diesel fuel is going to produce more torque. So thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.